So I got into the office today and everybody's talking about the eclipse and not having viewers to look through the eclipse because you can't really stare at the sun. It's a real dangerous thing to do, but there's a safe way to view the eclipse. I had to just figure out whether we had the parts at work. So I got into work, grabbed one of these uh, boxes and started to go to work on creating what was called the camera obscura. Feel free to look it up if you don't know what it is, but basically sunlight comes into a very, very small hole and gets projected onto a surface. In this case, just white paper. You can view it through the bottom. And what happens is that light will create an image right here of exactly what's up there, which is the sun. Um, we're gonna make one today so that you can figure out that you actually have parts in your office to do exactly what I did. Go over to wherever you're making coffee at work. Grab an unopened box. If you have an open box, that's fine. You just have to cover this over um, with something that's not gonna leak light. First thing you're gonna do can is- Can I ask a question? Yes. Will the Barista Prima provide a better viewing experience? Well, let's just say it'll be a more richer and robust viewing experience. We're gonna take the box and we're going to simply take all of these. I'm gonna drink one. So the next step is take your box, flip it over, basically cut out a piece of white paper that could fit on the bottom. I made mine a little smaller just to make it easier to drop in place and tape. You can probably go a little more form fitting. So that is going to be our viewing area. Now, if you hold your box up before sealing it, you'll notice that you can see some light leaks. We're gonna have to cover those. I would go to the place where you ship in your, your office and frankly get packaging tape and, and put a couple of layers of it over to, to cover it. Thankfully, I work in video and marketing and we have some really good material here. We have what's known as gaffer's tape. This stuff not only holds things down, ties things up, but also prevents a lot of light leaks. So I'm gonna basically just do that now very quickly, do some seam work to cover up every area that could potentially leak light in this project. On this side, we are gonna cut out two windows. One of the windows is gonna to be to allow light in. The other one is going to be to allow us to take a peek. So what I'm gonna do here is create a window that's gonna hold my foil. I'm going to create another window that's going to allow my eye to look in. I need that foil. I need that foil because what it's going to do is allow me to poke a very, very clean hole. As a matter of fact, in the old days of making pinhole cameras, if any of you have ever done that, you probably used a piece of foil to get the job done. But knowing that in my office I don't have tin foil, I was sort of at a loss. I had to come up with a quick and creative solution. Unfortunately, I will, in this case, have to take those ground home, grounds home and use it in another application. But now I have a nice piece of foil. That piece of foil is gonna go over here and I'm gonna tape it down using my light blocking material. They use duct tape if they didn't have they can, You can definitely use duct tape. As a matter of fact, Gorilla Tape is a fantastic application here. Very, very small pin. This was taken from a pen, a retractable pen. I took it out, unbent the, uh, the coil. I'm using the edge just to poke right in the center. And poke one hole, pull it up and down a couple of times. You may find that that's not big enough. It's a really, really tiny hole. If you find that it's not big enough, feel free to use a the tip of a ballpoint pen. The problem is the image won't be as clear. The beautiful thing about it is it'll let more light in, which means you'll actually see a disc easier and that disc will be obscured partially to create that eclipse. So it won't be crystal clear edges, but it will give you the idea of exactly what you're seeing in the sky. So I'm now just gonna finish up. I'm almost done. Take it outside for a test. So just to reiterate, the sun's back there. I don't want to look at it. It's dangerous. You can burn your retinas very quickly. So instead, I'm facing the opposite way. I'm going to use this almost like a periscope or to the side. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to aim this correctly at the sun. And look, I will see a dot. I'm seeing a dot. It's just a bright dot in what looks to be black. You're not going to get the details of seeing sunspots or anything like that. Not this way, but you will see the, the uh, solar disk. When the moon passes in front and blocks it, you will see the disc with a cutout. And you'll get to watch that safely as long as you want. 
as long as you're just using white paper in the background, nothing shiny, just white, normal, flat paper that you would use from a copier, and peek through. Remember, if it's reflective, do not put it inside this box. Okay, let me see if I can... That's the dot. Now, again, it doesn't look like a heck of a lot, but it's a heck of a lot safer than staring up at the sky. And you'll be able to watch as the shadow occludes the, uh, the moon itself. Let's see if we can get you a cleaner look. There you go. And that's it.